Well, we've told you about them before, sinkholes from old coal mines. But it isn't always easy for a homeowner to know where those mines are. News 10's Joe Ostrowski explains one state group is working to change that. They stare dusty-faced from the past, men and boys who worked the mines of the Wabash Valley. Most of them are long gone and their mines are closed, but their work is still making marks on the landscape, causing sinkholes like these. Whether it's in the middle of a cornfield or whether it's under someone's driveway or whether it's under a public road, it, it can impact. It can have a big impact. To predict that impact, researchers are turning to another part of the miners' legacy, intricate maps like this. Researchers at the Indiana Geological Survey have been compiling those mine maps for years, and they're now building an online database of mine information called the Indiana Coal Mine Information System. Planners are building uh, municipal buildings, schools. You're going to want to know if you're building over a site where there's abandoned mines. Getting that knowledge takes teamwork, and the Geological Survey has been asking folks to send in any old mine maps they have. When those maps come in, they're often taped tattered and torn in need of repair. There's some tissue tape used here. It's the back of a map that's already been repaired. Now these maps can vary in size and some are really pretty big. This one here for example is eight and a half foot long by six foot wide. And you have to shrink those down to get them into a usable size, something you can use on the computer. And that's where scanners like this one come into play. We get a really high contrast, bold image where it's clear. Once they're online, anyone can search to find out what mines are in their backyard. But the information still isn't complete. Of the 3,000 maps originally printed, the center only has 1,000, which means there's much more work to do. Still, it's work these folks enjoy. But I love these old maps. I really like the sense of restoring all the data and information from these maps. And it's a way to pay homage to the work these men once did. In Bloomington with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Now, if you would like to research mines in your backyard or if you have maps you would like to share, we've provided a link to the Coal Mine Information Service at our website, WTHITV.com. Alicia Weber from the Geological Survey is also going to be speaking to the Clay County Historical Society in Brazil next Monday.